what about alkaline water? People say, oh, you got to drink alkaline water. Is that true? Mm, no. Uh, no. But what he will say is given, given your choices offered to you at this time, alkaline water is better than yeah. other options. All right, so what should we be drinking if, if not that? There's spring water, there's distilled water, there's um, purified okay. water. Hmm. Remember with any, uh, so remember with any water you drink and with any place you find yourself in, you as a human have the ability to restore, to program, this water with your thoughts mm -hmm. or he shows me like you can this might sound a little whatever to people but oh well we're just gonna go for it yeah, you yeah. can you can sing to the yeah. water you could chant to the water mm -hmm. he shows me you can do like there's like a glass you know just imagine this right mm -hmm, right and you're okay so he shows me you can put your hands over it yeah like that mm -hmm. and just imagine that the energy kind of flows down through your body yeah. and then out through your hands Into and then you the sort of mm -hmm, and then you want to just see it he's helping me do it flow all the way down and you can um and he says you feel it too so neat yeah and then you will just you know you drink it yeah like that um, so that's what that's important to mention because in his from his perspective that those techniques and tools are infinitely more important than uh alkaline or okay that said ideally water closest to the source is most beneficial for the human body. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. What about- so I, He's showing me like a, a spring and because it also retains minerals. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, is, is there a tone you can play um, before you drink mm -hmm. the water? Like 528 Hertz or 42? What's, four, what's 432? Is that something? Oh, 432, okay, yes one. Yeah, 432. That was the number I saw. Oh, awesome. So bottled plastic water or tap water, do they have different frequencies? The question of bottled plastic, plastic bottled or tap. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Which one has the lowest? One of the types of bottled water? Or My, for the lowest, he goes. Uh, hard to say because the the plastic bottle yeah yeah is is not ideal right. nor is the tap water yeah. but he does not want to this is really important for him i say this not to cause discouragement so for example you know maybe you live someplace or maybe you're on a budget and you, all you have is tap water it it you're not you don't have to feel like, oh, there's nothing I can do or nothing yeah. I can contribute, of course right? Not. So you, he, he wants those who are, have only access maybe to, to tap water to practice this, um, yeah. going like this. Myth. And maybe the 432 Hertz tone, you can find it on YouTube. Okay. Mm -hmm. But he also says, um, the power of blessing and positive feelings and intentions will also uh, be very beneficial for the water. Okay. What's the best container to drink water out of? A Baccarat crystal tumbler or what? I saw a glass jar, like a, okay. a glass. Glass is glass. better. All right. Now that you are on the other side, please tell us what we can do to make water heal people. I mean, do we need 
a special formula to say something to say or what the formula there is no formula it is through the healing That's what mothers are saying all over the world there's no formula <laughs> He has other opinions about that, but we won't get into that. No, um, he smiled. He smiled at your joke. Um, I just, he's a good smile. Uh, he's, sorry, I got distracted. There is, okay, there's, there is no formula through positive. So changing your thoughts, programming the water within your body, thinking positive thoughts, um, love, mm -hmm. happiness, peace. He says devotion. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Devotion um, will begin to reprogram the water. Simply intend. So and it doesn't feel as complicated as you don't have to like, I mean, you no. certainly can, but you don't have to chant a spell or anything. <laughs> Abracadabra. No, I mean, yeah. imagine how powerful that could be since we are are such a you know a majority of our bodies is water so imagine and that's this um essential point to understand yeah is if we you can you can ask to consciously work with the water within your body i mean it's pretty amazing yeah, I mean, look at the negative, the rice experiment where negative thoughts were just, you know, or created did such. You, did you do that? Yeah, I did. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cool. He's but, saying. But, um, but yeah, I, I imagine negative thoughts to your own body from others or from yourself. What that would do to disrupt the molecular structure of, of water. And um, yeah, right? Negative thoughts have a powerful effect on the human body. Mm. It is wise to observe thoughts as they arise and choose better thoughts if necessary. Okay. Uh, all right. Can you tell us a very, very, the simplest experiment we can do that would be illustrative of your or one uh, he says to experiment with yourself okay. this is this is a trick um you could for seven days program a glass of water to thoughts of uh, peace mm -hmm. to thoughts of love um like imagine for example you should, okay this is what he wants me to explain for seven days, take a glass of water and program the water with one frequency, with peace, you know, every day and drink it. And you will notice the difference within yourself. Wow. Would it help to also play uh, a tone, like the love tone, 520 or something like that uh, at the same time or, or not? Or the 432? Okay, yes. But this is important. This is important. Okay. We like, how do I even explain this? Okay, he's gonna help me. So, so if you see, um, he's giving me this example. Uh, you know the violinist Yo Yo Ma? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he's showing me Yo Yo Ma. And Yo-Yo Ma apparently had when he plays, he he kind of sets this, and I don't know this about him, so you'd have to so look was it up. Cello but, or violin? I don't know. Uh, I think it. Well, sorry, he's he's going like this, so I'm okay. sorry if I'm mis mixed up. Um, but he has he sets a a clear and pure intention yeah. for his music. Mm -hmm. mm. It looks like for his music mm. to go out into the world, and he is a master but his music affects so many people also because they subconsciously recognize and feel the intention oh. behind the music. So he's, he's mentioning that because if, for example, we decide to play a certain tone yeah. or whatever, 
our powerful intention behind that is also important to observe and recognize. Do you, do you understand what he's trying to say? Well, it makes sense. Yeah. All right, uh, here's one from a person. Of course, it's a person. Mm -hmm. From a penguin. Next time I am on the ferry around the city, should I chant love to the East River? And will that raise the frequency of the city? He smiles and All he thinks dead it's a one floating to the surface. I know. Oh. He thinks that, but he thinks it's a wonderful idea for oh, this person. Awesome. And he, he would encourage other people to do the same. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. All right. Raymond Grace is a master dowser that can clear water and reprogram it to the highest level. He teaches people how to do it yourself with a pendulum. So what do you, Dr. Emoto, think of this? And what else do you suggest we do to program water into the highest and best for people, animals, and this planet, beside what you've already shared? <coughs> he thinks that uh, Raymond Grace, he doesn't know of him, uh, like on a personal <laughs> level, yeah, right. but he thinks that using a pendulum to reprogram water is a fine tool it's a, a very good method you can absolutely do that um there's a lot of energy work that seems to be going into this also um oh, okay he shows me his way is based in simplicity and the power of human thought yeah there is no there are there are many methods that have been discovered and some soon to be discovered to reprogram water to the highest frequency. This person's method is no better than other methods. Ooh. I am simple in my approach. I simply suggest to begin to notice on a conscious basis mm -hmm. the power of your own thoughts, the power of your own thoughts are reflected back in your reality in every waking moment. Okay. Oh, wow. Is it true that the water in the center of the earth, I didn't know that, maybe it's the, the water, the big lakes under Antarctica, is so pure that it sings and holds information? Yes. Wow. Is it true that the dark hats, I think that's the hat people from other dimensions, bad things, have tried to, is it true that the dark hats have tried to poison off a large part of humanity by dumping poison in the fresh water of the earth's rivers? If so, how long will it take Mother Earth to clean, purify its water again? I don't know what the dark, dark hats are. Maybe they're just- He doesn't, he doesn't uh, know about the dark hats, but he okay. will say this. He does want to say this. Humans, by and large, have poison, and he's including himself, oh, <laughs> that's yeah. why he was trying to undo this, have, by and large, poisoned the water through their own efforts. Yeah. So it's like we've done it to ourselves. Okay. Um, the next, uh, 2026, is a, a, a turning point in, from his perspective. And now, again, that can change was talking about probabilities earlier with somebody in readings about time, okay. but from his perspective right now, 2026, there's some, hopefully some, something that begins to shift in our understanding of water and maybe some legislation or something like that. Yeah. But what begins to happen is humans start to take back the Un, they begin to understand the necessity to heal the planet's water. And in healing the planet's water, they also heal themselves. Awesome. Yeah. Dr. Moto, are you um, excited to work with artists who are finding your research and cultivating new plant life using unique combinations of art and agriculture for advancements in the STEM field and humanity in, in general? It's a mouthful. He doesn't really totally understand the question within that, but he well, does. This artist who use your research to cultivate new plant life. Oh, okay. Using okay. a combination of art and agriculture. 
like the he thinks field in. he is excited about the advancements that people are uh, experiments. This is other people doing it, uh, the other experiments, it looks mm -hmm. like, and the advancements in the fields of humanities and science based on his work. So he feels happy about that. Okay, so if you have a beautiful piece of art next to a glass of water, will it change the water, have an effect on the water? Or is it your perception of what you think about the art? Hmm. Good question. That's a good question. Uh, it looks to me like the consciousness of the, this is what he's trying to show me, the consciousness of the painter um, oh, okay. affects the frequency of the art that is conveyed, and that frequency has an effect on the water. Okay. Are simultaneously, because nothing is disconnected, this is an interesting channeling because this is a hard oh, one. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, he says I'm doing okay. Thank you. No, doing um, okay. So simultaneously, because everything is connected, we're not if through the quantum field. There's no disconnection. Even you know, even though we perceive there is one. Right. 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 Then you can explain this in your way better than I can, I'm sure. Well, but well. Uh, the, the, per, the person perceiving the art also will affect the vibration and frequency that of the water. Yeah. So it's like yeah. both and it's all, okay. but here's the thing. If we direct, so for example, the person observing the art and then there's the glass of water. The person observing the art, if the person observing the art chooses to direct their attention to the water and it, that it becomes more powerful. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. Next question. I'm trying to wrap it up as soon as I can. I use scalar energy. This person uses scalar energy to put frequencies mm -hmm. in water. How much water do you recommend drinking per day of this treated water? To heal and improve your body and can you go overboard and do any harm you, you can go overboard absolutely oh, wow. um he says it is dependent on the person okay. and he would recommend that person to speak with their doctor or use their intuitive knowing okay mm -hmm. what frequency is good from the skate and the scalar energy from one megahertz all the way to eight megahertz what frequency band at least is the best for treating water um, I see three, the, the three to five. Okay, three to five. Um, does that make sense to you? Because yeah. I don't know about that. Three megahertz, too, too all the way through five megahertz. Okay. Okay. I heard the best time to pray is when you're surrounded when you're surrounded by water, like taking a shower. Is that true? Yes. Why is that? Because it soothes you, and so you can manifest with your thoughts better, or because the prayers travel throughout the quantum field better mm -hmm. in water. Like sound. Uh, okay, so imagine that the prayer is received by the water. Uh huh. Then the through the cycle of life, the it's evaporated into the sky, and then the prayer comes down over the whole oh. world. Nice. I like that. All right. Is it true that spirits can show themselves to us through water in a technique where you meditate and you communicate in front of a bowl of water? Then you ask the spirit to show themselves while you take a photograph of the bowl of water. That's so cool. Uh, he laughed. He laughed. He said he had never tried that, mm -hmm. but he believes water is very powerful and he does not doubt that that is possible. Well, let's try it, man. Now, uh, Eric, would we use a, a clear glass bowl or? Um... <laughs> Eric. Uh, Eric said, how should I know? No, he's making a joke. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I think a clear glass bowl would be the way to go. Seems like it. Mm -hmm. There is a charity called Charity Water that I really want to contribute to. Could you tell us if they are honest and, le and, and a legit organization? Um, Elizabeth, uh, Elisa Scott Harrison started this charity. You should she doesn't know. Book. that much about the charity 
Okay. What's your feeling, Eric, about Scott Harrison, the one who he wrote a book called Thirst, and then he started this charity. Um, he he seems that it's it's honest and honorable. Okay, good. Yeah. Knowing that positive intentions directed into water can actually change our health, what word words or pictures would you recommend we direct into the water so it may provide us with the highest vibration possible? Love is the word. Love. Yeah, yeah cuz that and um you can use symbols or pictures that represent love. Yeah or contain the energy of love symbolically, but the word love. Okay. How can we use uh, but he, 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 he does wanna say though, if he thinks that person asking that question may have a health challenge going on uh -huh. of some sort, you can actually program your water to assist you in healing your health. Can you um, say water, I'm gonna drink you uh, so that then you will make my blood pressure normal or something like that? um you in in intend uh perfect health so it's like you can okay. intend like perfect health okay or you again you, you through this this energy technique and it kind of looks like a triangle um oh. I'm, put your hands so, like this over the water yeah that that looks more correct and then through that it's like almost through the triangle um the energy goes through, but okay. you can put perfect health along with love. Yeah, exactly. Light of divine love. All right. Um, how can we use water on a, I got three more questions. Uh, okay. How can we use water on a daily basis to elevate our frequency and achieve mastery? I think we, do we already answer this, that question? Sort of. He feels that we have uh, explored that topic. Okay. What have you been able to learn about frequency on the other side that we are not aware of or about water that you didn't know? Uh, the, uh, the, the origin point of water from other uh, systems. Okay. You didn't really know that fully. That's, that's been new information. Okay. Um, you know, he, there's a been for him it's not as much about all this new information but he likes to kind of adva keep advancing in his ideas okay. yeah so Good. And you'll help us in our journey on this side of course all yeah, right last but not least i think can you describe another life that most influenced your one is dr emoto mm hmm, hmm. He was as interesting. He's showing me a lifetime as a, um, he uses the word shaman. Okay. And um, this is one of the reasons that he was given this task in this lifetime, although it feels like it was a surprise to him. In a lot of ways, his life's work ended up being kind of a surprise to him as well. Um, he looks like he was a, um, so he's in the Amazon. Oh. He is a shaman and he, he can communicate with the plant life and water. Oh, wow. And so that lifetime was like a seed or a cellular knowing within. He didn't actually ever have that memory on the planet. He didn't know. But he can see now that there was a seed, or he likes that seed, yeah, or cellular cellular memory mm -hmm. that carries forth into this life. So interesting. Eric, mm -hmm. is there anything you would like to ask him? Um, Eric's holding, <laughs> no, he doesn't have anything, but he's holding a glass of water and he's actually going to um, practice. Oh, good. Healing. Yeah. What about you, Corey? Do you have anything to ask? <clears throat> um, just if there's any final messages or anything else we need to know. Okay, final messages. We'll okay. Say that. <clears throat> Remember the power you hold as people. It is forgotten 
among daily life. It is time to remember the power you hold as people, mm. not only the power to change your thoughts, but to simultaneously change and heal the planet with your thoughts. Nice. Begin to understand you are that powerful and wise. Wow, that's amazing. I have to tell my husband that. He won't believe it. <laughs> All right, so oh, one more thing. I was asked, like, is there anything fun, little thing that not too many or maybe nobody knows about you? Little quirky habits or... Um, oh, he's very quirky, he says. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, he has uh, a pattern. Well, he's very, um, sometimes, what's the word, repetitious with his... Uh, well, experiments, but also just like not, I wouldn't call he's not calling it OCD, but he's very, he, he likes pattern and repetition. Okay. okay. Um, that's something about his personality. Um, he liked, uh, he likes order mm -hmm. in his life. Yeah. He likes things to be in a certain order. That's very important to him. Okay. And something no one knows. Um, when he was eight, mm -hmm. he had a glimpse of himself traveling the world. Although at the time he didn't know what it meant. Wow, interesting. So he actually had like a, almost like a premonition or a psychic vision. Wow, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Emoto. And thank you, Eric, for bringing them in. And thank you, Courtney, for the splendid job channeling. I'm going to have to listen to this again because it's fascinating. You guys try those experiments and you can get in touch with the intuitive, medical intuitive, channeler, uh, healer, Courtney Dillon at www.courtneydillon.com. Be sure you guys uh, check out the Atlanta Scaler channel, also the YouTube channel. Lots of good stuff there. And be sure you hit the notification button, share, and subscribe. He's saying Bye. he's saying uh, that he likes your work. He's giving you a compliment. Oh, thank you. And thank you for your work, too. It was an honor to meet you. Thank Hi. you. Okay, you want me to get off? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. 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 Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs>